Welcome back to the homestead. Coming at you live from down here in chicken land. This is the uh, furthest part from their run. It's basically covered with some hedge trees and it's shady in here. And it's a little lower than the rest of it. There's a bank that goes down, so they love it down here. It's got good shade, good foraging, all that. So they can come down here almost any time of day and it's not gonna be too hot for them. So anyways, uh, we've got an issue with this new flock of chickens. So I'm gonna walk over to the uh, hen house and I'll tell you guys what's going on. So we've got this new flock coming online. Um, and that was that 20 new gold sex links, uh, about four months old or a hair over four months old now. So we've actually got one egg off them. So yeah, they're coming online. That's really good. Um, overall, very satisfied with that new flock. Um, and we've culled the older gals. So uh, we're down to five remaining of our original flock. All those gals are from spring 2018 or, or winter and spring of 2018. So uh, they're about two years old now and they're still laying okay. But yeah, we've culled that down. So we have a total of 25 now. Um, so we keep it manageable and hopefully as this new flock comes online, we can start to get a lot of eggs, have enough for us to eat, and maybe sell a dozen here or there to neighbors. But anyways, it's coming down here to check and ran into a problem yesterday. So what had happened was I came in here to get the eggs and this lady right here was hanging out on this perch right here with her feet like that, if you will, facing in. And she was looking at the scene of the crime. There was one eaten egg and, you know, totally destroyed. And she's just hanging out there. And then we went over here. I went over here next and there was like two destroyed eggs. And it was just super disheartening. And she is the one who uh, I think was up to no good. Cause yeah, she was lurking there. So what I did was I put a leg band on her at that moment, see that leg band? That's a purple leg band. So she's the only one with a band right now. So that's how I know who she is. Um, it's a good idea to keep those on hand for your flock if you ever need to mark one, if they're sick, if they're egg eating, if they're doing whatever. Um, it's also good to keep track of the age of your gals so that you know uh, when it's a good time to call some and rotate in younger um, hens for laying. So anyways, she got separated. This was yesterday uh, mid-morning. I came back out in the evening to close the coop and uh, I found like three or four, no probably four or five more destroyed eggs between the two nest boxes. So Needless to say, very, very upsetting. So she's she's now detained and she's been marked. So what I've done now is I'm locking her in. I've got the little doggy door over there is closed and she's gonna try and follow me out here, but the main door will be closed. But before I do that, I've got one option. I've got a lifeline for her. So she does have a chance to redeem herself. And close the door behind me. So this is her chance to redeem herself. I've got a bowl of grinded up, well, crushed eggshells. Um, just as simple as I took about four eggshells, washed them out really good with water, crushed them up by hand really good, and kept rinsing them, and I've got them in a bowl. So if this is a problem of her not having enough calcium and deciding to egg eat because of that, that can happen. They don't have enough calcium in their diet, and they they eat the eggs for that reason. So this is her lifeline. I'm gonna leave this here, right there over here. And I'm gonna leave this egg in here. There's not one in there. So there's there's one down there. This is her chance to prove herself. And I'm gonna leave her in here for about an hour and come back and check. Right now she is, whoa, get out of there. She's not happy, she tried to escape. So there's a chance that she just won't eat the egg just because of the fact that she's stressed and about being locked in here by her own. Um, so, see you later. So I'm gonna get out of this midday heat, this July heat now, and I'm gonna check on her in an hour and see what she's done. There's a chance she won't do anything because she's too stressed out. In that case, what I'm gonna do is add one or two more girls in there with her so that she gets a little more comfortable and, and will be more likely to try to do her crime. And if she's caught doing the crime, 
instead of you know eating the eggshells which could be her out if she's caught doing the crime she's gone from the flock so um, check back in an hour and we'll see what's good all right well it's been uh, closer to two hours we're gonna move in on her and see what's happened hello she's really pretty I love her feathers I love how it comes down her neck there with that blend of highlights there I do love these gold sections they're very pretty so nothing in there and she did not eat it okay now that may be that she's really stressed out that she got locked in here um, but you know what what I said before was yeah that she was up here perched on this with her head in there and you know pretty much you know she was eating it I mean I didn't know that I saw her mouth or her beak in the egg that was open but I mean what else would she be doing but the thing is that there's a chance that somebody else busted open those eggs and then she was either looking or eating after the fact but if if she's not one that will actually break an egg open then she's technically not an egg eater um, she's someone that would just feast on the after effects of a chicken who will break an egg so I think what I'm gonna do is let her out now let her get a little water and then I'm gonna get her and one or two others back in here so it'll feel a little more normal for her because she knows something's up she's not acting normal she doesn't like being here alone see I'm gonna set that up and then we'll check in on that and see what happens there she is getting a drink so she's getting relaxed, fueling up, hydrating. Hopefully she's ready to do her crime now and we can catch her right in the act, so. Okay, so I'm back now. I peaked on him at about 15 minute mark. Now it's been about 45 minutes. And that one, which is not the one we were thinking it is, was just hanging out up here and she was looking into the nest box. I'm a little suspicious if she did something or maybe she was checking the damage. No, no damage and nothing. Come on. All right, well, as you can see, it's not easy to catch an egg eater. They, uh, they seem to have some groove or rhythm where they want to do it and then you get them out of that and they don't want to do it. So what I'm going to do is give it a little bit longer, check on them back in about 45 minutes, see what happens. And I think at that point getting towards the end of the day I'm gonna have to call it so uh, we'll see one more time if they take the bait but uh, it's not looking good as of now all right so it's been about an hour or so last chance let's see if anything happened nope and nope nothing so you are safe for now. Come here, come here. There you are, my pretty. Well, gonna chalk this up as a loss and release the suspects. Or suspect, which is actually her. Look at how scared she is. She's really nervous. She knows something was up today that she was singled out. And that's never good when you're in a chicken flock. So this one's not so scared. You're not that scared. You're nice, because you know you didn't do anything wrong, but you are paranoid. See that? Ah! Paranoid. Hey, so I'm back down here in the chicken yard, and it's been two days since the first part of this video. And uh, what had happened was on that night after making that, uh, after doing all that, trying to catch the egg eater, I was coming down here to close the coop, and it was a little late, uh, later than normal. It was uh, just near dark. Uh, about 8:45 or so and uh, right over here see underneath the nest box there where that rock is there used to be a gap there um, so I was about 60 feet away coming down on the way and sure enough right down there there was three skunks coming they must have squeezed in between the wire right there because it's not tight or anything it's just to keep chickens out um, 
they must have squeezed beneath it or around it I mean and then they walked over and they went under the coop so there's there was at least three skunks under there I don't know if they're still under there or not or if they came out that night so I, I didn't do anything that night but I did come back and put rocks there today so it's fairly blocked off so anyways there's a definite some sort of skunk problem and that night I had looked in the nest box uh, to see if that egg was still there because I left one to see what would happen and sure enough they were all eaten and what I found was a really weird poop um, and it was like round and it looked like a chicken poop it was pretty small but it was um, soft and you know how I guess chicken poop can kind of harden up uh, over time but it was soft and then I you know I wasn't trying to get my face in it but I caught a whiff of it and it smelled like berries not anything like chicken poop so anyways that kind of was nasty and I didn't know what to think and I looked up skunk poop and on the internet skunk poops like long and skinny and this was like a round ball but now I think it might have been a uh, a baby skunk whatever you call that a skunk pup I don't even know what that term is I'll have to look that up so anyways yesterday I didn't do anything out here I just had uh, a bunch of other stuff going on but today I come back and I'm putting up fresh wire on that gate right there because the chickens escaped through there to the neighbors uh -huh. and I'm putting up a little wire down there because they also do it there and I'm with the kids and then out of nowhere my daughter just freaks out and goes skunk skunk and we're all standing here I'll show you we're all standing right there next to the gate and sure enough just the other side of that gate here so if you can see this is the corner of the property here so down there there's there's another fence and anyways let me flip this around I'll show you guys so this is our side other sides the neighbors down there this runs it just dead ends the the rail fence here and then I ran wire to a chain link fence over there see the top bar you can see there's a chain link fence so I ran wire to there so anyways that's the other neighbors fence this is the corner here and there was a skunk right here just past this post and we were all standing right back here and the chickens weren't even noticing they didn't even seem to care they didn't have a care in the world so the kids ran out as fast as they could i picked up one of these rocks and actually nailed it with the rock and it's that stunned it and then it got its tail up so i just backed out of there and it didn't spray anyone but it smelled horrific here afterwards so that was earlier today um and yeah this uh, around that same time period I was running another experiment where I locked that one chicken I thought was the egg eater I locked her in there with a friend and was going to see if she was going to eat the eggs and she just didn't she laid one which is great so anyways now it's afternoon it's much later and I went to check on those eggs so I left eggs in there just to see if anyone would eat them and they were still there but one was like almost all the way gone and there was a tiny bit of shell fragments and sure enough, there was more skunk droppings in the nest box. How disgusting is that? This is one of the grossest, nastiest, messed up things that happened yet on our little homestead here. So it's, uh, I mean, I don't even know what to tell you, especially thinking about it the other night when I grabbed the droppings out of there, thinking it was just chicken manure. I was barehanded, so I was touching skunk droppings barehanded, but I did wash my hands really good after that, but just thinking about it, it makes me kind of want to cringe and just kind of, I, I mean, I just, I feel disgusted knowing that a skunk has been in where our eggs are and where we're eating our eggs out of, so, ugh, I mean, it's, this is just really horrible. I mean, right now it was a big pile of droppings, so I've got to take that nest box out and clean it all out. But anyways, now we know what the problem is. I'm glad I didn't react too fast and just assume that that chicken was eating them just because she was at the scene of the crime. So, hey, there's your lesson. Uh, never assume anything, um, especially when it comes to something like a valuable animal like a, uh, a hen, a laying, young laying hen, so valuable. Um, so anyways, now I've got to figure out how to get rid of the skunk, but I'm going to try and call a skunk trapping guy and see if we can just get rid of them. But if you've got a, um, any advice or input, please drop it in the comments. I would love to hear it. Um, other than that, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one.